previous traumas. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited. So I'm still getting used to all of this. So like, I'm just really hoping that I'm just like my authentic self. So today's video is going to be five valuable things I've learned at 20. These past couple months, I've been doing like a lot of self-reflection. I'm sure a lot of people have been doing that during quarantine. By working on healing myself, I'm able to like become more self-aware of things I do and the way I treat other people externally. It has helped me like really like love myself. I can tell you right now by like healing my inner self this is the happiest I've been it's so insane to even think about that so basically I'm doing that whole thing again where the last video I kind of just like winged it and said whatever but like I kind of like wrote out like the five things and I kind of just want to talk about it because I feel like it feel more authentic but also at the same time like my mind goes everywhere you probably have already noticed like I'm literally at like 10 million things at once I use my hands a lot a lot. Oh, yeah, and also like in the last video, like I was frowning a lot. I'm not sad. Okay, I'm gonna try to smile more, I guess. I was like, why, why do I like look like I'm pissed off like half the time? I'm gonna be looking down at my computer because I wrote them all down. We're just gonna see like what comes out of my mouth. So hopefully this goes well. Okay, first topic. Not everyone's going to like you and that's okay. Growing up, especially like middle school and high school, like around that time, like I feel like people really just trying to fit in. Personally for me, fitting in meant that like everyone would like me. Like I really just wanted to be nice. Like I thought like if I'm just nice to everyone, befriend everyone, like everyone's gonna like me. And like I would just like wonder like why people wouldn't like. It really would get to me if someone didn't like me, even if it was just for no reason. Yeah, most of the time it's just for no reason. Like people just, but like it took me a lot of time to kind of like internalize that there's so many different types of people. A lot of the time so they're like jealous of something that you have. Seeing others with something that they want. Probably don't really understand like what's going on with the quotations. Wanting is like not the way you want to go about things. I'll make a video about that later on, but yeah. This also goes along with like how people like make fun of other people for no reason, how people are just mean to other people for no reason. They're kind of just exhibiting that internal anger within themselves and their insecurities onto like another person. The stuff they are putting out externally is really the way they feel internally. Instead of seeking validation from external sources, you start seeking that validation within yourself. And once you start seeking that validation within yourself, you learn that you don't need it from anyone else. It, whether that be your parents, your friends, your significant other, it's great. Compliments are great, like positive reinforcement is great, but you know your worth. Everyone was put on this planet for a reason and everyone is worthy of love and all the good things in life. Um, it's just something you have to look within yourself to really comprehend. People like make fun of you and you have that self-love for yourself. When they make fun of you, you're not seeking out that validation so it doesn't phase you at all. You're kind of like, I know the truth, that's not the truth. The truth is, is I'm, I'm worthy of love and I am whole and complete. Love yourself first before anything else. I kind of just touched on this. People will put other people's needs before theirs. I know it may sound selfish, you always, no matter who it is, no matter what it is, you always have to put your needs before other people. You come first, the rest follows. How do you expect to help another person? Like if you feel like you're half a person and you have a lot of work to do internally, you're just going to bring yourself and the other person down even more. Understand the actions that we take and the things that we do and how harmful they could be to ourselves and to other people. A lot of our behaviors are stemmed from past traumas, past experiences, and a lot of the things we do correlated with that, and we just see that as normal. Yeah, so like, I live next to a frat, so you're gonna hear that a lot and loud music, so I'm gonna talk louder. Maybe that's gonna help. Personally, for me, I was always the type of person, whenever I see people hurting, especially my best friends or my family, like I'm always like the first to be like, 
I'm here to help you, like, what's up? Like, I've realized is like, like, I'm really not helping. I'm giving them advice, but also at the same time, I could be giving them advice of what my old self would do. Only way to really help someone is to help yourself. And then once you help yourself, you're able to go out there and from those experiences and from those lessons you've learned from internalizing and really healing yourself, you're able to like go out there, help other people, love yourself first before any anything else. I especially see this with like a lot of people who like are in college or like high school even. I understand like everyone has a plan for the future. Like I have a plan for the future. I know everyone's grinding, okay? Guys, we have like one life to live. We're all on this planet for probably around like 60 more years you want to like enjoy life you want to experience life you want to experience like what the world has to offer you know you have to go out there and create memories. I understand like staying in for like a midterm or a test or something, but you have to give yourself a break. Give yourself some self-care, self-love. You've been working really hard and like reward yourself for it. Tell your inner self, be like you did a really good job today, like I'm so proud of you, you deserve this. Learn to be your own best friend. How would you want to treat your own best friend? It's how you should be treating yourself. And a lot of the time, we're our biggest enemy. We're the ones telling ourselves we're stupid. Oh, why did you do that? Why did you say that? Or what's wrong with you? Or you're a screw up. Like, you don't want to be saying any of this. Even if you're joking around like, oh, I used to be like, oh yeah, haha, ha, like I'm so stupid. Like, that's subconsciously like internalizing into your mind and we don't realize the effects of it until like much later on. And you can't even correlate it back to that because it's just like, oh, like it would just comment. Like you're, you're not, you don't think anything of it. You're just joking around. Try to like avoid any of those comments towards yourself and see how much your life changes. Well, this is a big one. Friendships need to be worked on as hard as relationships with your significant other. I just said friendships, but like I see it as like any type of relationship, whether it be friendship, family relationship, or significant other relationship, they are all equal. Obviously like there is like a level of like significance. Like, I see a lot of people doing this. They like get a significant other and they just forget about their friends. And I'm very guilty of this like I would get into a relationship just completely like ignore all of my friendships like they're always going to be there for me but that's not true like all relationships are two-way street and if they keep reaching out to you and they're not seeing any type of like you reaching back they're gonna think like oh like they don't really care about me if you want a friendship to last you have to be working on that as hard as you work as a at a relationship with your significant other your family members because you can lose touch with them as well every once in a while like I'm like oh like I haven't texted this person in a while like I haven't reached out to them in a while like I just want to send them the text like reminding them like hey like I'm always here for you can't wait to see you again like something super simple like that it's kind of like watering a plant you know like to keep it alive you want to water it, you know? Like if you ignore it, it dies. That's insane. That's an, I, I did that. I, I did that. I'm impressed by that, like, um, what's it called? Analogy. Water all your relationships and yeah, you'll be chilling. This also has to do with like your love attachment or like how you grew up, how you were nurtured as a child. So it's different for everyone and um, I probably will make a video about that like later on, but like basically growing up I felt like to receive any type of love, I would need to do something. I would need to do something right. I would need to be perfect. I would need to get good grades. I would need to be a certain person, I need to, to be a certain way, which wasn't authentic to myself, and that's how I would receive love. Subconsciously, I didn't believe like the love was unconditional. I correlated external validation with love. As I grew up, I tried to seek it out through like relationships or friendships. I had to constantly be reassured of like their love. It was like a really anxious love attachment. I never felt love unless it was like constantly told to me. No matter how much I would achieve getting into college, graduating high school, getting the grades, 
no matter how much I would achieve and no matter how much people would say like hey like I'm proud of you and stuff ultimately like within myself like oh yeah like that's great like awesome thank you I'm glad you like noticed that I never felt like I that void was filled within me because they would be saying that but internally I'd be like you don't deserve these like you don't deserve love what we don't realize is that love and that comfort and warmth is already within us we just have to give it to ourselves but as I've like really implemented this into my life it's and changed my entire life wow I'm sharing a lot I used to be really afraid of being like alone I always had to be under the company of others I always had to be on the phone with someone and I just would not like the company of myself yeah as I like gave myself that validation that that love that I craved I was already whole but I began to really feel it I learned to really enjoy my own company, like have fun with myself, like really just be present and there with myself. Give yourself that self-love, positive affirmations. Guys, positive affirmations, I know it sounds so like, it sounds so like, it, it sounds like this stuff wouldn't work. I swear, it works. I swear on everything, like I was like, I was that person that's like really like that's gonna work like there's no way but like everything's a process guys like nothing is ever going to come to you like that like super fast like you have to work at it and you have to work at the healing you have to look within yourself and like positive affirmations for example in the morning I'm like I am confident I am happy I am whole you're not being self-absorbed you are loving yourself so number five oh bro five Okay, five. Number five, um, health should be your number one priority. I see this within like a lot of like college students, high school students. Everyone's on their grind, like I said, like grind season, like I get it. Health should not be overlooked. Yeah, you need to be giving it the nutrients it needs. And during my sophomore and freshman year, I lost so much weight. Like I was at a really unhealthy weight. I was like, my mood was always down. I've always felt like no energy, but like, hey, like I was getting like the grades that I wanted. But what is all that when I'm feeling like this? When you can easily schedule and manage your time to be able to eat every single meal that you need, daily exercise like a walk, like a simple walk at night, like or a 10 minute walk, a five minute walk. Definitely take care of yourself, guys. Like your health should be your number one priority. Even though like I'm implementing like every single meal, which is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Even if I'm not hungry, I do it. I make sure to eat like some type of meal. Even if it's something small, like I make sure to eat it. And I've implemented like exercise in my morning routine. Um, as soon as I wake up, it's really upped my mood. It's like, upped my like self-confidence and it's really helped me love myself like as I'm giving this love to myself to my body the love that it deserves I'm able to feel whole and complete I feel like I've gotten like more comfortable like this is good like I feel like yeah like I'm chilling you know that's the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed it I want to be like doing like a lot of like self-help videos on here along with like lifestyle videos like um, anything else you guys want to see comment down below like I'm gonna be I've been working on a lot of self-help these past couple months So like that's really what I've become passionate about, but I also want to mix in my own personality So it's going to be like Me this channel is me social media links are down below I noticed like all the like support that I got from my last video and like from TikTok like you guys are amazing like you guys are all so nice and so supportive like it's crazy like I can't tell you how much like I appreciate you guys and how grateful I am for you be able to do like something like this because of this is all because of you like I, I love you guys you guys are amazing and um yeah so new video every Thursday I'll see you guys next Thursday peace